of one fresh size sized sheet is. The reason we're doing this is we're finding what 100% coverage of our press size sheet would be. From there, we can then deduce, okay, well, if cyan only covers 10% of the sheet, what is 10% of the total coverage area? So question five, the formula you want to use is the area formula, which is length times width. And our press size sheet is 19 by 25, so 19 inches times 25 inches is 475 inches squared or square inches. From there, question six asks, what is the total coverage area of just the cyan for one press size sheet? Cyan, per our project or our problem description, covers 35% of the press size sheet area. So the question we have to ask ourselves is what is 35% of 475 square inches? Whenever we have a percentage, we can divide by 100 to turn it into a decimal. Of, in mathematics, represents multiplication. So when we fill out this formula, we should come up with 0.35, and we divide by 100, multiplied by 475 square inches to come up with 166.25 square inches or inches squared for every one sheet of paper. Question seven says, well, if one sheet of paper needs 166.25 square inches of coverage, how many square inches of coverage do you need for all of your sheets? Which we have to be able to recognize that question two already tells us the total number of sheets that we're purchasing. So we'll take 166.25 square inches for one press size sheet and multiply it times 125,000 total press size sheets for a total coverage area of 20,781,250 square inches that must be covered in cyan ink. Question eight. Now that we know the total number of square inches needed, how do we figure out how many pounds of ink to buy? We take the total number of square inches and divide it by the total number of square inches that one pound of ink can cover. And that's given to us in the problem as 20,000 square inches. So 20,781,250 square inches of coverage area needed for cyan divided by 20,000 square inches for every one pound of cyan ink means we need to purchase exactly 1,039 pounds, 1,039.0625 uh, pounds. We don't purchase part of a pound. We have to buy at least a whole pound to buy the container. So we'll actually purchase 1,040 pounds even though the decimal is 0 0.0625. No matter what it comes out to, we round up to the next whole number. And then last but not least for the cyan ink, how much will that ink cost? Since we're purchasing 1,040 pounds, and our problem tells us that the ink costs $6 per pound, we'll multiply 1,040 times six for a total cost of cyan ink of 6,240 pounds. If you're able to get all of the cyan answers correct, please move on to the next video to calculate the magenta ink coverage.